So I started playing with this online graphing tool called Desmos and I've made all these different kinematic models of leg geometries and this one's my favorite right now but I'll leave links to all of these in the description below and you should be able to just click on them and start playing with the parameters yourselves like uh, I can stop this and move this servo wherever I want I can change the lengths of different parts of the robot so I can make parts longer or shorter and uh, I can scale things up and down I'm gonna make a more detailed video about this in the future but if you wanna go check it out and you come up with some leg designs of your own you can share those with me in the comments and I'll take a look at them and I'll feature them in my next video alright today I'm gonna be unboxing and testing out this 360 degree laser scanner so I'm gonna open it up and see what's inside There's an instruction manual here, and a cable, and here is the laser scanning module. Following the instructions in the packaging, I went to slamtech.com slash robostudio, and it took me to this page where I downloaded the RoboStudio software. Alright, and once you're logged in, you'll be prompted with this screen. Um, I'm going to be running a LiDAR, so I go into the LiDARs tab, right click and manually connect to a LiDAR, and it automatically detects it as COM10. You have to hit play in order to start. And you can see the room that I'm in. You can zoom in and out. So all of these numbers are in millimeters. The numbers on the outside are in degrees. Now as I move forwards and backwards, you can see the map update. If I move all the way into this corner, you can see I'm moving into that corner there. Um, you can even see the door in my room that's open and how wide it's open and what angle it is. And I'm holding this above my head so that I'm not detected in there. Now if I zoom way in and hold my hand in front of it, you can see my hand. And you can even count the number of fingers I'm holding up. So I'm holding up four, three, two, one. Pretty cool. And then if I bring this down a little bit you can see my head. Oh wow. You can see my nose there. Sometimes it doesn't show up on bright surfaces. So that's just one of the limitations of the laser scanner. But you can use this for mapping out rooms or um, figuring out where you are in the room because you know how far away you are from each wall. One of my long-term goals is to make a robot that can go up and down the stairs. So I'm going to see what they look like on the sensor. SlamTech is named after the acronym SLAM, which stands for Simultaneous Localization and Mapping. So um, remember to slam that like button. I want to replace these servo tie rods that I've been using because they have a lot of slot. You can see just how much the foot can move without the servo moving. And if I zoom in here, you can see just how bad it is. So I'm going to be replacing them with my own 3D printed versions. Now I'm going to insert some nylon bushings into these 3D printed parts. I gave these all the same treatment by threading the screw in all the way and continuing to let it spin for a while to make sure that it eats all the excess material away, then backing it out. While I back it out, I keep pushing down on that screw. When it gets to the end, it'll push back in. Now all the holes should be pretty good. Um, they, they slide in freely and 
rotate. I followed the same procedure for all of these joints. I tighten them all the way, and then back it off about a full turn so that there's no clamping force. And what we're left with is a pretty free spinning joint. Alright, I just finished installing the new parts that link the servo to the lower leg. It's kind of making a cracking noise. I think that's from some interference with my new uh, connectors I put in there. But I don't think it's doing any harm. its behavior so its feet stand a lot further apart and this should give it a more stable stance. It also seems to be making it walk better too. Alright, I'll test everything out now. Move left. Move right. Turn left, walk forward, and walk backwards. 